Hey, what is up, navigation traders? Just giving my summary for the day trading live stream today on April 12th, 2023. Four trades today started off with uh, a Roblox volume runner that failed right away. So it was a small losing trade, minus 150. And then had a couple nice volume runners for Roku and Baba, plus 398, plus 206. And then in hindsight, um, I, well, I did a continuation to the upside in Tesla, and in hindsight, this probably should have been a continuation to the downside. Um, would have been a massive winner, um, ended up being a small loser. I'll show you what I did there and what I should have done so I can learn from that. First off, Roblox, I was also having technical difficulties, so that was causing some issues, but Roblox here, this, this bar was bigger than the first, so you're pretty typical. This pulled back, I got um, I got long like right here on this pullback, and then it flushed down, and when it popped back up, I got out. So a small losing trade there. Um, then Roku, really nice. Um, so Roku had this big volume bar here. When it popped up to this pivot, I jumped in right there. And wrote it down, and when it started to pop up there, um, it got a bar as big, and things started to get strong. So I just got out. You can see it kind of rolled back over, but um, I ended up scaling out all the way down I, uh, to my last final contract where I got out uh, right here. So plus 398, great winner there. Baba was kind of the same as Roku. Um, it had this uh, big volume bar right here. And when it had popped up to here, right up here at the top, I got short. And it came down and I was able to get out of half and then was able to get out of a quarter when it came down and touched this pivot. Um, and then it popped up and then I got out because I was like, okay, it's come down here and popped up, here popped up, here popped up, here popped up. I thought I was going to continue to get strong. You can see if I would have held, but. Um, I did end up getting out. So, but decent winner at 206. And then Tesla, I got in. Look, things were getting strong. So it pushed down. It was chopping. Things were getting strong. I thought maybe things were going to reverse and go up. And I got in um, right in here. And then when it came, and, I, and, I, and I positioned size to add to it since it obviously wasn't going to be the best fill for a long and when it came down here, um, I added to it, and then it started to pop up, and and um, I almost got out of half up here, but then it reversed right away, started coming down, and I ended up cutting it. And I'm glad I cut it because right after I cut it, um, actually, I think it ended up coming back down here because I got out for less than my ad, so it must have breached right there, and um, I didn't get very good fill, but um, minus 180. It probably would have been about a scratch trade if I could have got out closer to up here. But now, in hindsight, this is more of a continuation to the downside setup. Push down, chop. It's not getting any strength at all. I probably should have got short right here because if it does push up, then you can just cut it. It's a losing trade, but you can see then it finally collapsed. So, but anyway, um, small green day. It was a little, you know, it's a day where the CPI numbers came out, and the, those are tough days to trade. So, you know, I mean, we had a big bounce pre market, so I'm a little conservative on those days. But uh, anyway, plus 274. I'll be back at it tomorrow. I'll see everybody then. Peace.